today we're going to talk about react memo this is an optimization technique for your react application especially if you're using functional components any standard react application is composed of a tree of components and any props or state change leads to component re-render and all the components are rendered top to bottom this is quite inefficient in most of the cases all the components are not required to be rendered when we are not changing any props or states, why bother rendering it again? React Lifecycle provides a very nice method called Shoot Component Update, which can be overridden that decides if the component is required to be rendered or not. And if you are extending pure component, Shoot Component Update is not required because it's been written for you. But unfortunately, if you are writing functional components, which is a new way of writing React application, it doesn't provide any lifecycle methods. That's why React provides a higher order component react.memo to convert your functional component into something similar to pure component. Implementation is very simple. Just wrap your component with react.memo and it gives you a memoized version of your component. Now if you render a memoized component with same props without any change, it doesn't re-render and returns a cached component. And that in turn blocks rendering of all the child components, saving a lot of CPU cycles. One last thing to remember while optimizing your application using memo is that props are shallow compared to decide if the component is going to be rendered or not. What I mean by that is all the old and new props are compared with equality operator. While that is absolutely fine for strings and numbers, changes in deep objects and arrays cannot be identified with shallow comparison. So what's the solution you might ask? Create a copy of objects and arrays if you're updating it. You can use any immutable data structure, which is not so hard to use, or just manage your props in such a way that ensures they're immutable. So now that you have got the right tools to optimize your application performance, you might be wondering if you should be wrapping all your components with React Memo or not. That would be overkill. If your component is very simple and doesn't contain a big enough subtree, Using memo doesn't help at all. Also, you should check that you're not blocking the component that you want to re-render in certain times. The code samples in this video are available in the description below. Let me know in the comment section if you have any suggestion or question in your mind.